Hi there, my name is Austin. I'm the developer of FreeRoom, and I wanted to make this video to get you acclimated to the trip planning feature of the app. We have three main goals with the trip planner. The first is to help you find great campgrounds for your trip. The second is to help you route between those campgrounds. And the third is to help you find gas stations, rest areas, whatever you might need along that route. So we're going to start here by tapping on create a trip. We're going to give it a title, so we'll call this test trip. And then we can choose a thumbnail image for it just to make it look nice. And hit create. And now we've got our trip. So from here, we want to add our first destination. So to do that, we'll tap on the plus at the bottom right. And it'll bring us to the main map for free room, which will show us campgrounds, overnight stays, uh, wherever we might want to stay. And we can filter those. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap on the search bar. So search here. We're going to turn off overnight, so we'll just show campgrounds. And then from here, you can do all sorts of filtering. So you could do, if you wanted to find RV parks where it has like a Passport America affiliation, you can do that. If you want to find campgrounds where the weather in November, the average low is greater than freezing, you can do that as well. But for the purposes of this, we're going to reset that and just show all campgrounds. So we're going to add our first destination, which we'll say, let's say we live in Portland, and we're just going to tap on some coordinates and hit Add to Trip. We'll change the name of it from the coordinates to Home. And then we can also set the arrival and departure dates, some notes, as well as some photos. But we're going to leave those blank for now and just hit the check mark at the top right to add it. So now we've got our first destination added to the trip, which in this case we're calling home. As we zoom out, we'll see this green looking donut. This is a measure of distance and it helps you, uh, helps you find places that are within a certain range that you're willing to drive in a day. So by default, it's between 200 and 300 miles. So inside the donut is 200 to 300 air miles away from uh, from Portland but we can change that let's say we want to have it be between 100 and 150 miles away we can do that hit the check mark to save and then now we have our smaller donut so let's choose our first stop let's say we want to go to Bend and we'll uh, we'll do this free camping spot over here. It says it's 174 miles away from Portland. If we tap info, it'll show us more of the campground information as well as reviews and photos. If we want to add it to the trip, we can from the center right over here where it says add to trip. But we're going to back out and you can also add from the uh, add to trip at the bottom left here. So we're going to use that one and then we're going to say we get there tomorrow and that we leave on the 26th and then we will add it and now we've got Portland to uh, to Bend mapped out so we'll add a couple more real quick here let's choose this snow park and say it's from the 26th to the 27th and then we will also add this free camping spot near Crater Lake and we'll say that's from the 27th to the 28th and if you change these dates to be uh, you know in between other dates it'll automatically sort by date in terms of like the stop order so now we've got our little mini trip planned here and the next thing that we can do is choose our driving route between each leg of the trip so we're gonna start with one to two so from portland to bend if we tap on the turquoise route line you'll see that it changes mode to show uh, facilities and you know other places along the route um, so it'll show gas stations low clearances all that sort of stuff and at the bottom there's open route info which will give us some more information about the route we've got an elevation chart here so it starts close to sea level in Portland and goes to about 4,000 feet 
and then it shows the the mileage and the the time as well if we go to edit route we can turn on editing mode and change our driving route so if we want to have it avoid highways we can tap on that and you'll see that it changed or put a new route from Portland through Salem and then over to Bend and if we go back to info it'll show us this new route that's avoiding highways which is this uh, turquoise one versus the old gray dashed one uh, so you'll see that the new one since it goes sort of along the coast more towards Salem it doesn't gain elevation till later in the drive and then it shows the comparison of the time of the new one so four and a half hours versus three and a half hours so overall it's actually a worse route we can also turn that off and have it use the truck route and the truck route in this case looks like it's the same between Portland and Bend but the truck route will avoid any uh, you know sharp windy roads um, any steep inclines or, or roads with low clearances basically anything a trucker would want to avoid but we'll turn that off and the last thing you can do is you can tap on a road that you want to route through and it'll adjust the route to go through that that point that you tapped and you can do that with as many points as you want and if we want to set that as our new route we can tap on use new route at the bottom here but all of these routes that I've made are actually worse than the initial one that it, it suggested so I'm not going to tap on that I'm just going to turn editing mode off and hide route info and now we're going to find some stops along our route so we're going to find gas stations anywhere we might want to stop so I'm going to go ahead and go to the search bar again I'm going to turn off campgrounds and turn off hazards which are like low clearances and just have it show the facilities and I can filter it even further so if I wanted to show just like grocery stores or just gas stations I can tap on those but I'm gonna have it show all of them and then if I tap on a gas station it'll show me how far it was from the last stop so in this case it's pretty close to our, our initial start in Portland 26 miles and it's a one minute detour off of the route if I tap on one that's a little further away I guess that one's also these are all pretty close to the highway uh, let's see if we can find one so that one's a three minute detour it's a little bit further off of the route and if I tap on info it'll show the satellite view so I can see if it's an easy to access gas station or not if I'm you know towing an RV behind me if I want to add a stop I can tap on it hit add stop and it'll route me through that and it'll also put a little black dot below it to let me know which stops I've added to the route if I want to back out of this mode I can hit the X on the bottom right and it'll go back to the mode where I can add more destinations and campgrounds I'll turn those back on and I could add more if I wanted uh, let's see at the top right here we've got settings so you saw that I changed the map donut from here but I can also set my rig height which will um, if I set it to say 11 feet it would avoid any low clearances that are 11 feet or lower I can also have it avoid highways or use the truck route for all stops that I add but I'm gonna leave it as is for now and X out of it and if we X out of this you'll see our trip itinerary which has our four destinations it shows the uh, how long of a drive it is between each one if I tap on plan this route it'll show the stops that I added for the route so it shows the gas station that I added if I want to get back to that mode I can tap on add stop and it'll bring me back to the route we'll go back the other thing I can do is I can navigate so I can have it route me from from one point to the other I can open it in Google Maps if I do that Google Maps automatically chooses their own route so if you um, you know changed up your route to avoid highways or, or go through a certain point or avoid low clearances it's not going to use that so the alternative is to use the free roam navigation mode um, which depending on when you're viewing this video may or may not be in the app yet 
but when you do that, it does navigating through um, directly from the Free Roam app, and it'll use that custom route that you have. Um, so when we try it right now, it'll work for me because I have the new version of the app, and it'll pull up turn by turn directions that is pretty similar to Google Maps if you've used it before and help you route from, from those points. Um, I think that's, that's about it for the, the features that we have. Um, if you have any questions, definitely reach out to us in chat or send me an email. Uh, my, e my email is austin at freeroam.app. Uh, we're trying to make this as useful as possible, and, and hopefully it's useful for you. And thank you for watching.